So usually you divide patients into three groups. One would be the, the young uh, uh, and well, and they would generally be under 70 years of age. Then you'd have the uh, patients who are probably 70 to 80, although age is becoming less significant. More important is what sort of uh, condition and what comorbidities they have. And then the third group would be the frail group. So taking the first group, which would be generally the young and, and fit, they nowadays in, in Ireland, uh, up until very recently, are typically combination was lenalidomide, bortezomib and steroid as our initial treatment. We've now had access to daratumumab, but we have to combine it with velcade, thalidomide and dexamethasone. So you now have a tricky choice to make in those patients. Do you go for our, what we've used for a number of years, which is the bortezomib, lenalidomide, dexamethasone, or as many of us would like to do, combine it with an antibody, but this means using the older drug thalidomide, which can cause significant peripheral neuropathy. So it's, it's it's, it's quite a tricky choice. Many of us would prefer to use uh, the antibody with the bortezomib, lenalidomide, dexamethasone, but that's currently not funded here in Ireland. And I know that's also true of many countries across Europe as well. In the older but fit or well patients who are not going to go to transplant, we have increasingly moved towards bortezomib, lenalidomide, dexamethasone, again, similar to the younger patients, but in less intense combinations. So we reduce the dose of the steroid and we certainly give the, uh, the uh, bortezomib uh, on a, as a weekly dose. And we would use that for most patients who don't have significant comorbidities, who wouldn't be considered as frail, as our first line treatment. And then for our frailer patients, um, we, again, we would typically, we would often consider them for uh, combinations like uh, uh, bortezomib with a, a lower dose lenalidomide. And for the very, very frail, and again, increasingly we're you know, I'm treating patients in their late 80s, early 90s, we would still often fall back on the older traditional, what I would consider milder treatments of, of melphalan and uh, steroid combination.